Hello everyone, welcome to Fantasy Recaps Family. Today we are going to see an American vampire thriller film titled Day Shift. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The movie opens with Bud Jablonski, a middle class man who is cleaning swimming pools. After cleaning he ensures that no one is there and takes his guns and bullets. Actually, Bud is a vampire hunter. He kills vampires and sells their teeth to earn money. Bud enters a small house with a mask and suit. He sticks a thin silver wire across the doors and goes inside searching for vampires. It's fully dark. Suddenly an old lady comes from a room and questions Bud who he is. Bud shoots her. She seems to be dead, but her body twists and wakes up in vampire form. Her wound heals itself and she begins to attack Bud. Bud tries to shoot her, but she knocks him down. A glass piece cuts Bud's hand. Bud takes the glass out. Vampires have various powers based on their age. This lady has a flexible body. She escapes from Bud's attacks. Bud stabs a wooden piece in her chest and cuts her head off. Suddenly, a young vampire runs into the house. When he crosses the door, the silver wire cuts his head and he dies. Bud extracts the vampire teeth from the two vampires and went home. The next scene opens in a construction area. Audrey, a wealthy high-class woman, is standing there with an umbrella. A middle-aged vampire is trapped inside some iron rods. Audrey is also a vampire. She has been living for a long time and has developed many special powers. She can even stand in sunlight for a limited time. She is burying the vampire man under the concrete saying she will dig him after a hundred years since he refused to sell his property. Bud goes to a private hotel room and freshens up. Since he is doing a dangerous job, he is living in this private room to ensure that his wife Jocelyn and his daughter Paige are safe. He picks up Paige from school and goes to Jocelyn's house. It seems Jocelyn planned to sell her house and go to her mother's house since she needs ten grand for Paige's school fees and for her braces. Bud didn't like this because if it happens, he will not be able to see Paige. So he asks Jocelyn not to sell the house and says he will arrange the money. Jocelyn says she needs the money in seven days. Bud promises to give the money in time and asks her not to take Paige away. Bud goes to an underground shop to sell those vampire teeth. The shopkeeper named Troy says the value of vampire teeth is calculated based on its age and says he will give only $800 for both. Bud says it's very low and asks him to give reasonable money. Troy asks Bud to sell in the Union to get a high price. The Union is a legal group of people who hunt vampires to save people from danger. They have a lot of rules and regulations. Bud used to work there but he was kicked out because he violated the rules. Bud sells only the young man's teeth and went away. On the other side, Audrey goes to the old lady's house. She is shocked to see the old lady's dead body. It seems the lady was more precious to her. Audrey's assistant finds the glass piece with Bud's blood and says he can smell the man who killed her. Audrey finds their teeth are missing and realizes the cause of their death. She asks her assistant to track the man who killed her. The next day, Bud visits his friend named John who is working in the Union. Bud asks John to help him to join the Union again and John takes him to the Union's head. The head shows a bunch of reports about Bud's previous violations and says he will not hire him again. John says Bud has changed now. Bud also agrees to follow all of the rules. The head agrees to join him but assigns an office worker named Seth as his partner to report if he violates any rules. Bud agrees and goes to Seth to sell the lady's teeth. Seth evaluates it and gives $10,000, but Bud needs to repay his old debts and Seth took $8,000 back. Bud takes the remaining money. It seems Seth didn't like to work with Bud. The head says if Bud violates the rules again, he will be kicked out and Seth can return to office work. Bud prepares his gun and weapons to kill the vampire. Seth came there. Seth knows a lot about vampires, more than Bud. He said there is a 700-year-old vampire living in the European drug mafia. 
Although Seth knows about rules and vampires, he's never went on any field mission and never killed any vampire. So, Bud asks him to sit in the car. Seth says he must go with him according to the rules. Bud says he doesn't care about rules and asks him to stay in the car, to stay alive, and goes to hunt. On the other side, Audrey goes to Troy's shop and finds the young man's teeth and questions who gave it. Troy said he doesn't know. Audrey says that teeth are the only thing that vampires can't regenerate and stabs him in his hand. Troy says about Bud. Bud is hunting three teenage vampires. They attacked him badly. His boss called Seth and asked what is going on. Seth says he is in the car. He asks him to go and watch Bud's activities if he wants a promotion. Seth goes inside and sees the vampire sitting on Bud. Bud is struggling to escape and asks Seth to drag the gun near him. Seth did it. Bud kills the vampire and extracts their tooth. Seth gets scared and pees in his pants. Bud asks him to take a rest. While Bud is on the way to his apartment, he accidentally bumps into Heather, who moved into his apartment recently. Both of them apologize to each other and introduce themselves. The next day, he goes to pick up Seth for work. Seth gets inside the car. Bud sees a notebook in his hand and reads it. Seth has written many violations done by Bud the previous day. Bud asks, what's this? Seth says it's union rules. Bud says if they followed the rules, they would be dead by yesterday. Then they went to Troy's shop to buy weapons. There, Bud finds Troy's dead body. Seth tries to call the union. Bud stops him, saying if he calls the union, they will stop the hunting. Seth says he will act only by the rules. Bud gets angry and shouts at him, saying he needs 10 grand before Monday or he will lose his family, and asks him to leave him alone for two days so that he can have enough money. Seth agrees to it. While they are talking in the car, the leading vampire hunters named Nazarian Brothers arrive there and ask Bud to join them to hunt a nest of vampires. Bud prefers to work alone but joins them to get more money. The four of them suit up, load their guns, and went into a house. They saw many vampires roaming in the house. The Nazarian Brothers kill those vampires vigorously. Bud finds the hideout of vampires and hunts them with his gun. Many vampires come there throughout the walls. Bud and the brothers fight vigorously and killed many vampires. Seth fights with a vampire in a funny way and struggles to escape from them. The brothers killed the vampire and saved him. After the hunt, Seth notices an unusual thing, that different types of vampires are living together. On the next scene, Bud goes to his house and took Paige to her friend's birthday party. Paige enjoys the party. Audrey calls Bud and says she's going to kill Jocelyn and Paige because Bud killed the old lady. Suddenly, a group of men arrive at the party to catch Paige. Bud notices and rushes to escape from them. He takes Paige in the car and drives fast. After a big chase, Bud knocks every one of them down and reaches home. Audrey was already there. She has Jocelyn under her control. It seems that Seth tried to stop them and Audrey has bitten him. Now Audrey's men take Paige under their control and ask Bud to kneel before them. Jocelyn asks Bud what was going on. Bud apologizes for hiding the truth and says he is a vampire hunter. Jocelyn is confused. Audrey says the old lady killed by Bud is more precious to her and says she is going to kill Jocelyn for revenge and change Paige into a vampire. Bud tries to save them, but the assistants knock him down and go away with Jocelyn and Paige. After an hour, Bud comes to consciousness and sees Seth is changing into a vampire. Seth's vampire teeth grow and her reflection disappears on the mirror. Seth is trying to control himself, but he tries to bite Bud. Bud thinks he is fully changed and cuts his head off. Bud feels sorry for doing this and apologizes to Seth's body. Suddenly, Seth's head begins to talk. Bud is shocked to see this. It seems Seth acquired a special power since Audrey bit him. Seth's body wakes up and places his head into his neck. Bud doesn't know what's happening and apologizes to Seth. While they are going to his apartment, Bud sees Heather is a vampire and realizes Heather is the one who told Audrey about his family. 
he goes to kill Heather. Heather confesses everything and told him about the hideout of Audrey. Heather gives some blood to Seth and his head is attached to the body. She also says the old lady killed by Bud is the daughter of Audrey. Bud was confused. Heather said Audrey is the 700-year-old vampire and she has many superpowers and she's taking revenge for her daughter. Bud, Heather, and Seth join together and go to Audrey's hideout. Audrey tries to bite Paige. Jocelyn defends her. Audrey's assistant smells Bud's arrival there and sends vampires to kill them. Bud shoots some of the vampires. Some vampires attack Seth, but it doesn't hurt him since he has vampire powers. Heather and Seth joined together and kill many vampires. After a big fight, while the vampires surround them, John enters there with a machine gun and starts to shoot all the vampires. It seems Seth texted him for help. They split into two teams. Seth and Heather defend against the vampires. Bud and John go towards Audrey. While they're going in, many vampires attack them and one of them bite John. John sends Bud inside the cave and closes the door, locking himself with all the other vampires and asks him to go and save his family. When all the vampires came near him, John blasts a bomb which is attached to his body and kills them. Audrey is beating Jocelyn and asking Paige to be her daughter. Audrey's assistant tries to stop Bud. Seth and Heather arrive there and started to fight with the assistant. Bud enters Audrey's room and asks her to leave his family. Audrey has super speed. She changes into her vampire form and beats Bud continuously with her super speed. Seth and Heather tear the assistant into pieces. While Audrey is about to kill Bud, Jocelyn stabs her in the back. Audrey chased Jocelyn. Bud shoots her in the neck from behind, but Audrey spits out the bullet. Audrey runs towards him using her super speed, but Bud is standing still and closed his eyes. Audrey reaches him, but her head was cut by the silver wire. It seems Bud attached the silver wire in the wall while Audrey chased Jocelyn. All the vampires and Audrey are now dead. Seth and Heather joined them. Seth decides to become a vampire hunter. The head of the union arrives there and confronts Bud, saying he violates a lot of rules and says he's going to lose the job. He listed out lots of rules violated by Bud. Seth defends Bud using the loopholes in the rules and saves Bud's job. Bud tells Jocelyn that they can live together. Jocelyn agrees to it since she knows all of the truth and asks Bud not to lie again. Both of them kissed each other and decide to live together. Paige becomes happy and says she's going to become a vampire hunter herself. Bud and Jocelyn say no and they went to their house. After they left, John comes out from the tunnel and smokes a cigarette, saying he loves the place and the movie ends here. Much thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care.